are kicking off SHOT Show 2020 here at Pro Gun Las Vegas, just outside of Boulder City. We are shooting lots of guns here today. Uh, we've shot pistols, we've shot rifles, we've shot airsoft, uh, different types of things with arrows, uh, rounds, little projectile plastic balls, you name it, we've actually shot it. We've seen some famous people, and we've seen some not so famous people here. We really enjoyed seeing. But anyway, so I'm here with Brenda Osborne, and I'm Maggie Mordaunt. And so we just want to let you guys know the innovation is really what we're starting to see in the beginning of Shot Show. So yep. what, tell us about what you just shot. We just shot the Blackwater Firearms Iron Horse Rifle. Instead of the trigger being in the normal trigger press position, it's actually in the back, four fingers wrapped around the grip, and it is actually a pressing of the thumb. On average, more accurate. We haven't had any group get bigger, but we've had plenty of people, 60, 70 people come out to the range, take our lower, put it on their upper, their glass, same ammo, everything just shrinks. Yeah, so the Iron Horse, actually named by this company, Black, Black, Blackwater. Blackwater. As you can see behind us, Blackwater has the new Iron Horse, and what we're looking at is a different trigger system. Okay, so the trigger system that we're looking at is we're using our thumb instead of what we normally would use is our index finger. Right, and right? The, the theory behind it is that you're going to have less deviation because you have less of a tendency to adjust your trigger finger, for all intents and purposes, on the, on the trigger because it's an up and down movement as opposed to a left to right movement. No more windage. You're not pulling the trigger from left to right anymore. Yep. That is what it is. And feel for yourself if you think there's some lateral movement, because the biggest thing in precision shooting is trigger pull. Everyone can own the same barrel and the same glass, but especially when you're going fast, you're indexing that trigger at different points of your digit, and we're doing this. There we go. There's a five-round mag for you. So the fire safety selector switch is ambidextrous, forward is fire, backward is safe, and then the trigger's in the rear. Everything else is standard AR-15 configuration. Let's give it a try. I'm literally going to press the trigger with my thumb. It feels a little odd to use my thumb to press the trigger in a downward direction. The optic that I'm using is getting me on target, but also the felt recoil is a little less to me than your average 223. Sweet. This is a really nice rifle. Um, not super heavy. Uh, accuracy, felt recoil, all those great things. Love that uh, little bear insignia there. Um, I would highly recommend this rifle to just about anybody. Uh, not a super heavy gun, but uh, I, I really feel this is something that I need in one of my safes. How did it feel <laughs> with having all four fingers wrapped around the grip? So it felt odd to me because, you know, uh, Finger discipline is something that I have actually developed over the years, and it feels odd to not have my finger uh, above in a seamed area or above the trigger. Um, so, but to have it uh, all my, you know, hand all the way around with my thumb inside, um, I felt like I could really run with this, um, having a better grip on the gun. Uh, I actually think that it actually helped me keep it in pocket. So those four points of contact, it was a lot easier to really get all my, my hand all the way around there, really pulling it in, uh, allowing me to uh, control a bit of that deviation, if you will. Um, and so, like the gentleman was saying, you know, this really is a gun that doesn't have as much felt recoil, and I have to agree, um, it's a great gun. Okay, uh, everybody likes to shoot a 223. I could probably use this for hunting, home defense, uh, fun shoots, um, overall. I'd highly recommend it.
Nice. I thought it was great. A little bit strange. I found myself wondering where the trigger was, but you have to come back here. It was definitely different, but not overly awkward that it's not something you couldn't get used to and, and go back and forth between both styles. Loved it. Awesome. What do you think the learning curve? Maybe 20, 30 minutes. You probably ought to be able to feel pretty good with using it. Last couple magazines. Cool. We'll be in. Awesome. Awesome. Pretty accurate too, huh? Dang Skippy. <laughs> awesome. Brenda Osborne, Women's Defense Network. We got you. This is CCW Maggie. Fast Pro Shops. Right, so what we can what we can actually uh, see that's a great positive about the rifle is the fact that maybe less deviation. I know for me, for a 223, I actually felt like it didn't have as much felt recoil, if you no. will. No, the groupings are super, super tight. And yeah, even with rapid fire, um, you can see people are staying on target at good distances. Um, yeah, overall, I think I would highly recommend it. What did you think? I liked it, and he also said that you could keep your own your own glass and your own barrel yeah. system and, and go with just the lower, if that's the preference. But I love Great it. options. Yeah. You can actually, if you like your own system and you want to throw that lower on there, Go Boom. For it. There you go. Yeah. New trigger systems. Innovation. It happens. It happens. We just witnessed it. All right. <laughs> Maggie Mordaunt, Brenda Osborne, Women's Defense Network, Homeland Personal Protection. See you later. <laughs>